Three Chefs, One City is in Panama, a destination known to attract seekers of diversity. From sun and sand to jungles and mountains, pursuers of all things gather here in droves and stay for the food, food, food. And one of the founders of the food scene in Panama is without question, television personality, entrepreneur, and chef, Kukita Calvo. I am Chef Kukita, and this is my Panama City. Panama is in my heart. My grandfather was one of the founders of the country. Panama is a melting pot of ethnicities, and its cuisine is influenced by its diverse population. Panamanian food has soul. It's joyful and spicy like our people. Panamanian food is said to be influenced by Afro-Caribbean, Spanish, Indigenous, South American, European, and more. I'm a chef here at the Bristol Hotel, and I also am a restaurant owner. Come on in! Always food has been related to me by joyful moments and love. Ay, how come this is not in Spanish? <laughs> Spanish or English, Chef Kukita knows a thing or two about running a restaurant. Kukita Kukita, it's a dream I had where you can taste Panamanian traditional food in a very nice ambience. Most of our dishes are traditional recipes from my family. It's all fresh and cooked every day. My daughter, Ana Laura, is the one who takes care of this place. It's really like a family. We take all the tips and pay private school for the staff kids. Some of my people have been working with me for the last 40 years. I feel so lucky to have so many loyal people with me. This is Ines. She's been with me for the last 40 years in my ups and downs, but always loyal. The people here are very welcoming and sincere. Be careful, they will always tell you the truth. Panama is a very small country, so you have the opportunity to go to the mountains, have lunch in the Caribbean, and then dinner in the Pacific. Where else in the world can you do that? The Republic of Panama separates the Caribbean and Pacific Oceans by a mere 80 kilometers. Good seafood is part of life here, and some of the best can be found at an excellent seafood market right in Panama City, where fish is brought in daily from the Pacific by the local fishers and sold at prices you wouldn't believe. So if you like seafood, you're gonna love Panama City. Here we are at El Mercado del Marisco. Every good chef in Panama will be here very early in the morning to buy the best fresh seafood in the world. The indigenous meaning of this country's name, abundance of fish, reflects Panama's reputation as a destination for the best of the best. When I go to the market, it's not just to buy food. It's to find people with energy that love work and that really enjoy what they're doing. These people are very proud of what they do and what they say. One of the unique things about Panama is that you can find fresh seafood from the Pacific or from the Atlantic every day here. The city has changed a lot in the last 10 years, but at the same time, we're still having this special feeling of a very small country. Exceptional access to ingredients like seafood can be a game changer when it comes to taste. I love to buy fresh crabs from the Atlantic here. Imagine how delicious this must be. And for a small bite, this is beautiful. Baby lobsters. These are the best ceviches in Panama, more than 20 kinds. They have Italian ceviche, Greek ceviche. You have to come here and taste them. This is her version of a Mediterranean ceviche. It's delicious, and imagine this is just $3.
$3 for lunch? I think there's something fishy going on here, Kukita. This is fresh tuna from the Pacific. It's just $3 a pound. Can you imagine how good you can eat here in Panama? This is the best fish in Panama. A big and nice tender corvina. Very fresh. We're going to buy one and do something especially for you. Hmm. What exactly is for dinner? Salsi Puedes, for me, it's a window of Panama to the world. To have a restaurant in a hotel is an opportunity to have a lot of people from outside Panama tasting our food. It was a dream. It was the first Panamanian gourmet food restaurant in Panama. Action. Now that we're back from the market, we're going to start making our famous ceviche. Panama, for me, tastes like mountain, sea, and tropical fruit. So the, all these elements are in this recipe. We're going to start with the corvina, the sea bath, that has to be fresh. The best reward I can get is to have somebody that is enjoying my food. I'm always asking, immediately when I serve something, if they like it. For me, the colors are very important in food. Food not only has to taste good, but it has to look beautiful. That's very important. If I wasn't a chef, I for sure would be a painter. I paint every day on my plates. I like to do some things very creative, but very simple, so everybody can do it at home. My food is based in traditional recipes and I use a lot of forgotten ingredients. Panama used to be the port where all the gold will go to Spain. So gold is very important for me in my food. I always put a little touch so you remember what Panama is. Cooking is not about following a recipe. It's about expressing yourself through the food. Some people say my food is sexy. <laughs> That's lovely. I had a TV show for seven years and it's an honor. It's amazing when I'm walking in the street and everybody or a lot of people say, oh, I'm doing tonight your recipe. And they don't know how much tricks we have for TV. So they think everything is easier. It's so funny because sometimes I know there are going to be difficult recipes. <laughs> When a chef works both inside and outside the city of Panama, how do you compare the two? Chef Charlie Collins has the answer, coming up next. Charlie, Charlie, I'm where the action is. Hey, Kukita, out here is pretty good. 